gentleman yields back. The gentleman from New York is recognized. Mr. Speaker, I yield one minute to the distinguished gentleman from New York, Mr. Weiner. Gentleman is recognized. Great courage. Until all members have already spoken and then stand up and wrap your arms around procedure. We see it in the United States Senate every single day where members say, we want amendments, we want debate, we want amendment, but we're still a no. And then we stand up and say, oh, if only we had a different process, we'd vote yes. You vote yes if you believe yes. You vote in favor of something, you believe it's the right thing. If you believe it's the wrong thing, you vote no. We are following a procedure. I will not yield to the gentleman, and the gentleman will observe regular order. The gentleman will observe regular order. Gentlemen, thinks that if he gets up and yells about it, he's going to intimidate people into believing he's right. He is wrong. The gentleman is wrong. The gentleman is providing cover for his colleagues rather than doing the right thing. It's Republicans wrapping their arms around Republicans rather than doing the right thing on behalf of the heroes. It is a shame, a shame. If you believe this is a bad idea to provide health care, then vote no. But don't give me the cowardly view that, oh, if it was a different procedure, the gentleman will observe regular order and sit down. I will not. The gentleman will sit. The gentleman is correct in sitting. I will not. This is quite obviously not in order. Suspend. General will suspend. I will not stand here Gentleman is recognized. and listen to my colleagues say, oh, if only I had a different procedure that allows us to stall, 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 and then vote no. Instead of standing up and defending your colleagues and voting no on this humane bill, you should urge them to vote yes, something the gentleman has not done. Gentleman from Texas.